World War II had ended. It was the start of the Cold War and tensions were high. 58 years ago today, August the 12th, 1953, marks the day Russia launched and tested their first hydrogen bomb. Little over a year after America had tested their first H-bomb, named Mike. Sloika, or Joe 4, as nicknamed by the Americans because it was the fourth Soviet nuclear explosion to date, surpassed all expectations. Tested in the semi palatinx test site in Kazakhstan, the hydrogen bomb produced a yield of 400 kilotons. It was a true thermonuclear bomb, which although was detonated on a tower, was capable of being dropped by plane, unlike America's Mike bomb, which was not a deliverable weapon. Although the blast was not in the megaton range, so arguably not a true hydrogen bomb, this advantage of deliverance proved a powerful propaganda tool in the arms race and a great concern for America. One of the leading physicists which helped to achieve the creation of the bomb was renowned Lev Landau. It was his task to work out the bomb's dynamics as well as calculating the yield of the explosion. He did this with much greater accuracy than the Americans had ever managed to do previously. Mr. Landau did not want to work on the Sloika project, but did so against his will due to the threat of going back to prison, where he had spent a year in 1938 for allegedly leading a counter-revolutionary organization, or even worse, death for failing to cooperate. In 1953, the same year of the test, Joseph Stalin passed away, and so Lev Landau finally left the nuclear program to concentrate on other projects. He received the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physics for his development of a mathematical theory of superfluidity, and later died in 1968. Although a huge step for Russia and a milestone in the development of weapons of mass destruction, Joe Four marked just the beginning of what can be said of one of the most costly arms races in history until the Cold War ended in 1989, and which still echoes very strongly in politics today.